So what we're going to look at is an exercise to help people break out of the cycle of overthinking. So oftentimes when we think of things, our brain doesn't really distinguish between a thought, something that possibly might happen, but might not happen, and reality. And even if thoughts aren't reality, our body reacts in the same way and causes a strong emotion. And it's that emotion that we don't like, so we try to do lots of things to get away from that emotion. We try to think our way out of the emotion, which is like struggling in quicksand. We might do other activities to get away from the emotion. So we might take substances so that we can chemically avoid that emotion. We might avoid things. We might turn down opportunities. We might stay at home. We might get into compulsive behavior. There's lots of things that we all do to avoid emotional pain and to seek pleasure. This is an exercise to help us to get out of the overthinking cycle, which can actually feed and amplify the emotion and focus in on pure emotion so that we can learn that actually if we don't struggle with pure emotion pure emotion is actually not that bad we've probably all had far worse situations within our bodies might have had babies might have broken bones and when we actually separate pure emotion away from the overthinking it's really not as bad And emotions are very much like the weather. Emotions will come and emotions will go. So we're going to take a three-part approach. A, C, E. A, which is acknowledging the headlines of the overthinking, not reading or writing the whole article. C, which is the bulk of this relaxation exercise, which is very much focusing on coming back into our bodies. And E, which we do at the end of the exercise, which is just refocusing our energy and attention on engaging in what we had intended to do during the day and just mindfully focusing on that valued activity. So, when overthinking comes up, when it shows up, what we need you to do first is acknowledge what you're thinking. And to help you to diffuse from the overthinking and to help you to remind yourself that this is just a thought, instead of going, I'm thinking I'm fat or I am fat, just for example, We're going to go, I'm noticing that I'm thinking whatever you're thinking. Because it doesn't sound quite as scary and quite as frightening and quite as real as saying, I am such and such. So we're just noticing that we're thinking whatever the headline of the rumination is. Then we're going to stop. We're not going to read the whole story. We're really then going to flip our attentional focus straight to our bodies and we're going to keep our mind very, very busy and very, very focused with noticing what's going on in the body. So get yourself into a comfortable position. Make sure that your forehead is relaxed, that your jaw is relaxed. Definitely make sure that your shoulders are down. So you might want to pull your shoulders up towards your ears, notice the tension, and then drop your shoulders. Really, really drop your shoulders. Just make sure that your arms are uncrossed because you really don't want to have a sort of closed chest because you'll never get a deep breath. 
and we need a slow diaphragmatic breath to get your parasympathetic nervous system, your calming nervous system that helps you to rest and digest back in charge. And just make sure that your feet are uncrossed, your legs are uncrossed, and if you're sitting, that your feet are anchored into the ground. Then we're just gonna start taking a few deep breaths in through the nose. and slowly add through the mouth. To get the tempo correct, you might want to be breathing in for the count of seven. And out for the count of 11. And as you breathe in through your nose, You'll notice that your tummy rises. And as you breathe out through your mouth, you'll notice that your tummy drops. So carry on with your calm, even breathing. And just do a bit of a body scan and just decide whereabouts in your body that emotion is sitting and just be really interested in the emotion like you're a scientist just looking at it just observing it and think about if you had to draw an outline around the emotion where it's sat in your body just imagine that you're drawing a little outline around the shape of that emotion and imagine if you had to draw a picture of where that emotion lay within your body, that you'd put a color on it. So you'd put a color on it to represent how that emotion felt within your body. And then also give your emotion a form. So think, is it gaseous? Is it liquid? Is it solid? Is it hard? Is it shiny? Is it rough? What sort of texture is that emotion? And once you've got that emotion and you've made friends with it, just give it a little bit of room. So what we want you to do is when you're breathing in, just imagine that you're making space around that emotion. You're making some space with the air that you're breathing in around that emotion so that you can carry that emotion so it doesn't have to push you around into either some compulsive behavior, some avoidance behavior or some other behavior that you do to just remove that emotion because you don't need to. This emotion's here at the moment and if you don't struggle with it, just make room for it. It's not going to be that bad. So we need to get you used to the emotion and make friends with it because the more you get used to the emotion, the less it's going to bother you and it might change. And just remembering that emotions, even if they're really strong emotions, they're like the weather and they come and they go. So just check in on the emotion that you've been breathing around and making room for. And just notice if there's been any changes at all to how that emotion is sitting within your body. Just notice if it's moved. Notice if the colors have changed. Notice if the intensity has changed. It really doesn't matter if it hasn't changed and it doesn't matter if it has changed because you're just interested in the emotion and what happens 
when you just attend purely on the emotion. Just getting used to having the emotion until the emotion decides to change or leave you. So just really, really concentrate and slowly breathing in. Making room for it. Slowly breathing out. And if you want, you can think of when you breathe in, of breathing in a colour that you find to be a particularly relaxing colour. And as you're breathing in that air, just imagine that, that relaxing colour is also moving around that emotion. And just notice what happens when that relaxing colour moves in around your strong emotion. And just slowly carry on focusing on your calm, even breathing. And if you like, you can put a hand where you're feeling the emotion just to help yourself in a compassionate way through this difficult time. And just remind yourself that you're doing your best in a difficult situation. And just continue to look after this emotion, breathing around it, making room for it. And if you like, just do another body scan and just really focus in now on any part of your body that seems to be quite relaxed. Just notice that part of your body that seems relaxed and notice how that part of your body feels. If you like, you can give that part of your body that seems really relaxed a colour. And as you're breathing in, just imagine that you're breathing in to that area of your body that feels really relaxed and as you're breathing out, just imagine that, that relaxation spreading throughout your body. So just spend a bit of time focusing on that part of your body that feels really, really relaxed, really calm. Just breathe into it and notice what happens to that area of your body. And then just refocus on where you're feeling the emotion in your body now and just make room for it. Just notice if there's been any changes in the colour or in the shape. And just continue to breathe in, relaxing air colour, as if you're making a little buffer around that emotion, just to contain it, just so that emotion doesn't stop pushing you around. And now just notice how you're feeling. And we're going to come back into the present moment. So just stretch, put your hands in the air, move your arms around if you want, move your shoulders around, start moving your body around, open your eyes, just have a little look around you, just take in what's going on around you, just have a look at what is out there. Maybe focusing on a few interesting things in your environment. Just listen out for any noises around you, any noises that you can notice. And then just focusing on feeling your body sitting on your chair or wherever you are. And just focusing on any smells that are around you or if you have any water or you can just have a sip of that, 
just notice the feeling of that in your mouth, but it doesn't matter if you haven't. You can always just imagine that you're taking some lemon juice into your mouth. Just notice the saliva in your mouth. And now you're back in the present moment. Just ask yourself, when you woke up this morning, what you had intended to do today. And that's really what we want you to focus all of your attention on now. Just actually carrying out something that was important to you to do today. You might have been speaking to somebody important to you, spending time with them. It might have been something that you're going to do just for fun. It might have been something that was an achievement related activity. But whatever it was, no matter how small or how big, just set the intention to focus your attention on doing that thing. And when you're doing that thing, if you notice the rumination coming back, just notice it, name it, and refocus your attention on the task that you think is important for you to focus on now in this moment. 